Today, we will be delving into the fascinating world of glycolytic flux regulation and its related topics. Glycolysis and gluconeogenesis are key metabolic pathways that play critical roles in maintaining energy homeostasis within the cell. Understanding the intricate regulatory mechanisms governing these processes is essential for comprehending various aspects of human physiology and pathology. Without further ado, let us begin our exploration of the intricate workings of glycolysis and gluconeogenesis. Glycolytic flux is tightly regulated to meet the ever-changing energy demands of cells. Various factors such as the availability of glucose, the concentration of ATP and ADP, and the intracellular NAD plus NAD ratio influence the rate of glycolysis. Additionally, key regulatory enzymes such as hexokinase, phosphofructokinase, and pyruvate kinase play pivotal roles in controlling glycolytic flux. Hexokinase and glucokinase are two isozymes responsible for phosphorylating glucose during glycolysis. Hexokinase has a high affinity for glucose and is found in most tissues, whereas glucokinase has a lower affinity and is mainly present in the liver and pancreas. Their differential regulation by feedback inhibition and hormonal control mechanisms ensure fine-tuned glucose utilization in various organs. Aberrant glycolysis, also known as the Warburg effect, is a hallmark of cancer cells. This metabolic shift towards increased glycolysis allows cancer cells to meet their high energy demands and maintain rapid proliferation. Multiple genetic and epigenetic alterations contribute to the dysregulation of glycolysis in cancer cells, representing potential therapeutic targets. Glycolysis generates ATP through substrate-level phosphorylation. For each molecule of glucose that enters glycolysis, two molecules of ATP are produced. The energy investment phase and energy payoff phase of glycolysis are tightly regulated to ensure efficient ATP production while minimizing energy wastage. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase is a key regulatory enzyme in gluconeogenesis. It catalyzes the conversion of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate to fructose 6-phosphate, allowing the reversal of the glycolytic pathway. This control point ensures the appropriate regulation of glucose production during fasting and other energy-demanding situations. Phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase, PEPC, and fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase 2, FBPase 2, are crucial enzymes in the regulation of gluconeogenesis. PEP catalyzes the conversion of oxaloacetate to phosphoenol pyruvate, and FBPase 2 dephosphorylates fructose 2,6-bisphosphate, ultimately controlling the rate of glucose production in the liver and kidneys. Gluconeogenesis is primarily regulated at the transcriptional level, with different organs exhibiting distinct patterns of gene expression. For instance, the liver is the primary site of glucose synthesis, while the kidneys play a prominent role during prolonged fasting. Hormonal signals and metabolic intermediates exert precise control over the expression of genes involved in gluconeogenesis. Glycogen serves as a storage form of glucose, ensuring a readily available source of energy. Glycogen phosphorylase and glycogen synthase are two key enzymes involved in glycogenolysis, breakdown of glycogen, and glycogen synthesis, respectively. The regulation of these enzymes by hormonal signals helps maintain glucose homeostasis during times of fasting and feasting. The glucose alanine cycle, also known as the Cahill cycle, is critical for maintaining a constant supply of glucose during prolonged exercise or fasting conditions. This metabolic pathway involves the shuttling of nitrogen from skeletal muscle to the liver in the form of alanine, which is then converted back to glucose through gluconeogenesis. Hormones such as insulin, glucagon, and epinephrine play crucial roles in regulating both glycolysis and gluconeogenesis. Insulin promotes glucose uptake and glycolysis, while glucagon and epinephrine stimulate gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. The intricate interplay between these hormonal signals ensures glucose homeostasis under varying physiological conditions. Gluconeogenesis and ketogenesis are interconnected metabolic pathways that occur primarily in the liver. During prolonged fasting or carbohydrate restriction, gluconeogenesis generates glucose to meet the energy demands of vital organs, while simultaneously producing ketone bodies as an alternative fuel source for the brain. The regulation of these pathways ensures energy availability and prevents excessive ketone body accumulation. Genetic defects in enzymes involved in glycolysis and gluconeogenesis can lead to various metabolic disorders. For example, deficiencies in enzymes like pyruvate kinase or glucose 6-phosphatase can result in conditions such as pyruvate kinase deficiency or glycogen storage diseases, respectively. Understanding the underlying genetic alterations sheds light on disease mechanisms and aids in the development of targeted therapies. In conclusion, the regulation of glycolysis and gluconeogenesis involves a complex network of enzymatic, hormonal, and genetic factors. These processes are vital for maintaining energy homeostasis, and dysregulation can contribute to various diseases. 
Further research in this area is crucial for developing therapeutic interventions and advancing our understanding of metabolic disorders.